How's it going everybody? This is going to be a workbench kind of uh, type video. I don't even know what to call it. If you've seen Justinius Builds or uh, Strider Prime or any of those uh, couple YouTubers that kind of they'll walk you along a build that they're doing or they'll do a build and then walk you through what they did at the end of it. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like one of those videos. It's also gonna be a little bit like like an update video. I'll go into what I plan on doing next, uh, maybe review some products that I used in this build and just talk about updates for the channel. Um, so yeah, if you haven't heard, um, Mecha Color, I just had them here, they are Vallejo. They just came out with their new line called uh, Mecha Color. Go and show that to you all here. Um, this is a acrylic water-based paint. Uh, it's like their Game Air line. It's kind of already pre-thinned. Um, I would recommend using something like water to thin it. Um, Justinius also did a review on these. He had a kit that he was testing with, so if you want to check out a little bit more of an in-depth review, especially for airbrushing, uh, check out his channel. There'll be a, a link in the description down below. Um, these paints are really good. If you have the game airline, you might not need to get all these. There's a lot of colors that are in that line as well, and from what, from what I can tell, um, the overall look and feel like the formula seems the same this one has a satin finish to it and it's a little bit easier to work with in my experience again it might be different for everyone out there um but yeah i would highly recommend these they're really good um most stores that have vallejo stuff should have these now they do the msrp for these go a little bit higher than like game color game air it's a couple cents higher but they have some really cool colors that you don't see in a lot of other lines. Um, for example, we have the the uh, magenta and some like the metallic greens. Um, it's kind of cool to see these in acrylic based paints that are suitable more for mechy stuff rather than you know like tanks or fantasy wargaming. Um, so there's a lot of cool colors like that. I would highly recommend it, especially if you wanted to get into airbrushing and you don't know where to start in terms of paints. These you can spray indoors. And if you want a more depth in view, let me know, or you can check out Justinius' uh, Justinius's vid uh, video. He just put one out. So now we're to go ahead and talk about the Gion SD kit that I did using Mecha Color and uh, Citadel weathering effects. All right, so let's go ahead and actually talk about the kit here. Um, I did this kit, I built the kit on stream for the 24 hour um, anniversary, or the 24 hour live stream for the anniversary of the Gunpla Builder Association. Uh, this kit was mainly just a way to get back into the swing of things uh, in terms of airbrushing was, was mainly the big thing. I wanted to get some more practice in with airbrushing. So um, I used uh, Vallejo primer for everything. Just got that all primed up, looking good. And then from there, I went ahead and used the Mecha Color line that I got. Um, so for all the, the blue parts here uh, that you see in the background, so I used the blue gray. And then for the feet was using the Titan blue. Um, I love these two colors. They're really good. Uh, like I said, the Mecha Lions is, is becoming one of my favorite lines out there. And then for the shield and cape, um, I use the uh, SZ Red and just the plain red from Mecha Color. And for all the gold parts, I actually end up using the Metal Color Gold um, and then a little bit of the Metal Color Aluminum. I think these two are a little bit better in terms of quality compared to the Mecha Color um, Gold and Silver. They're just a little bit easier to work with. You can just dump them into your airbrush. You don't have to worry about uh, thinning. They're good to go. So in terms of the, the weathering on here, um, most of this snow that's around edges and on some of the pieces, this was all done with the Citadel... Um, Van Halen, Valhallen, Blizzard. Uh, this stuff is really good. It kind of comes on glossy, so it has that really icy Blizzard look to it. And then the rest of it was kind of done with the uh, Vallejo Environment Snow um, set. So again, really good set out there. Uh, for stuff like this, again, it was mainly just kind of piled on there. I actually used this to do most of it. And what I did was just put a little bit on there, mix it up, and then just kind of pile it on there use that on here and then I also have the citadel environment brush that has a little scalpel that's good to put pieces on here around clumped areas like that and then also around the shield as well um, overall it's pretty easy to do um, 
using snow weathering stuff's not hard. Just kind of getting a good idea of where everything would fall. If, you know, if this kit was actually just standing outside of a blizzard where all the snow would fall. And then, you know, like on here, a really good example of that. I think I, I, think I did a good job with it. I don't know what y'all think. I think I did a good job. But, um... Snow was collecting here, it dropped down, it landed there, and then dropped down, and then it actually dropped down a little bit on here. So just doing stuff like that's a big a big thing. Uh, here I mixed a little bit of the Tamiya Weathering Master set, the soot, so that way it has kind of like a slushy look to it. So um, other than that, you know, final thoughts on it. Um, of course, you know, I think I did pretty good. It could always be better. I definitely can't wait to do the judge diorama with everyone at Hangar 18. It's going to be a huge, a huge snow scene. It's a two foot by three foot or something like that. So uh, I'm going to be have a lot of fun with that. And again, if you have any questions about the build or if you want me to go more in depth to anything I did here, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about what I have for upcoming builds and just some updates for the channel. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about what I got going on uh, in terms of this channel and what I plan on building here in the future. Um, real quick before we get into those, I do want to give a huge shout out to USAGundamStore.com. If you haven't seen already that we are working with them, we have code GBA10 for the Gunpla Builders Association and uh, True Gunpla10 for a code for my channel. Both codes give you the same discount, 10% off your total order. Um, so again, huge shout out to them. Make Make sure you guys go ahead and check them out so let's go ahead and get into what i got going on in terms of builds in the future here i got this which is the hcws the heavy close combat weapon system um, from anubis design studio i got this from brandon during our swap a swap me and I bought this off of him uh, it's all the the rods metal and then everything else has really cool effect parts and you can make multiple different designs you can make like a pole arm a battle axe so there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but I want to go ahead and show you guys this and also we'll link a review from Brandon um, about this kit in the uh, in the description there the first thing I'm probably gonna be building here pretty soon which I'm pretty stoked on is if you know me personally I love initial D so I've got this initial D 886 uh, Trano um, model kits from who makes this? I think this is uh, Hasegawa. I forget who makes this, but um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I've never done a model kit car before, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, yeah, like I said before, um, if you know me personally, I love Initial D, so I'm really stoked for this. I do want to say thank you to uh, to Silver Stray for getting this for me. Um, he sent me this. And I might be doing a birthday stream um, next week where uh, me and Silver and I think Lynx uh, as well are going to be building some initial D cars and some imported car model kits. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I might do a video series on this because I've never built one before. I've never built one. So I'm really looking forward on to kind of taking that first plunge into this. Um, I really love the, uh, the whole Japanese car culture. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I also have an RX-7 from um, from Lynx. He got me. I might do a video on that as well. So yeah, uh, again, thank you, Silver, for this. Um, I'll have information probably posted on like Instagram whenever that stream is going to be. So moving on to the actual Gundam side of things. Look, another SD. But I'm going to be doing a kit bash with some type of Gundam girl, whether it be Gionk Hyper Gionko, um, Fumina. Uh, China. So I'm making pretty much a Gundam Girl Barbados Lupus. So this is going to be for the Hangar 18 Judge build. This is going to be a lot of fun. I really love doing SD high grades. And I figured that this, this the helmet's actually really good as an actual helmet. Or the head for this is actually a really good helmet for one of the uh, the various Gumpla Girl kits out there. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so again, I do want to thank you guys for checking out this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Again, also, if you want to see more on Mecha Color, let me know. And you can also check out Justinius Builds uh, review on Mecha Color. And until next time, I hope you all have a good one.